All right, chat. As you may have known, because if you guys follow my Twitter, which you definitely should, exclamation point Twitter, I definitely have not seen this yet. Thus, the Shogun had deemed the Oni dangerous and dispatched its samurai to subdue them. Uh, 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 After a fierce battle, uh, uh, the samurai defeated the violent uh, Oni and uh, Wait, is this the right script? Subdue the Oni. Kick wait. Hmm. Uh, anyway, in the end, humans and Oni overcame their differences. Uh, and they all lived happily ever after. Oh, what a circus. I wonder who narrates that. <laughs> now that's what I call a good show. <laughs> yeah, boss. <laughs> the Oritaki gang rules! <laughs> <laughs> He's literally the master of forehead, dude. <laughs> My lord, look backstage. <laughs> yes, most entertaining. Mm. Pity that the Tenryu Commission has arrived. Dude, you guys, <laughs> that voice. <though>. Arrest her! <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. See, uh, the, the ENVAs are sound giga chat as everything spot on. Agree? Oh, wait, does anyone know who the narrator is? I'm actually genuinely curious. This is a really, like, deep narrator voice. Uh, anyway, in the end... Like, that, that is, that is janky. Does it say in the description? No, I don't think so. It doesn't say in the description. All right, so no one important. <laughs> now that's what I call a good show. ENVA for Ito is honestly exactly what you'd expect him to sound like. Agree? <laughs> yeah, boss! The Orotaki gang rules! <laughs> <laughs> Dude, what I, I whenever I <laughs> why whenever I watch this trailer, I just hear him laugh 24-7. I just start laughing for no reason. Literally my reaction is I just can't stop but laugh. Alright, YouTube Frogs. We're coming back to you guys with a quick look through of the information that we have today on uh, our dog Ito's kit set. Gonna go through this briefly after looking through his trailer stuff. If you guys want to join the bottom left, don't forget all that stuff is in the description, the link to the Twitch channel, etc. Yep, 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 yep. So he's a normal attacker. We know that, right? Normal attack, claymore based character. It seems uh, one thing to note besides obviously that he has this superlative, his SS stacks, which can stack up to five, is that his combo, his normal attack combo, does not immediately reset after sprinting or using his elemental skill. So basically, Ito just got Deluxe Constellation for free. Not even capping you right now. Ito has Deluxe C6 for free. If you guys don't know, Deluxe C6, every single time you use his E, it will not interrupt his normal attack combo. Otherwise, Deluxe must reset his normal attack combo once he does this stuff. It's been a while, but uh, yeah. And they're both Claymore users. I mean, it says right here, right? His normal attack combo does not immediately reset after sprinting or using his elemental skill. So if you do a tap tap, E tap, you should still continue it. And then when before holding to perform a charge attack, Ito unleashes a series of his extra slashes without consuming stamina. Instead, each of the slashes consumes one stack of his SS. Agreed? Agreed. So the idea with this guy, you do one, two hit, you do a charge attack because you have an SS stack, three, four, charge attack, and then repeat. That's his entire combo. It's just, he's he's basically a Deluke. If you guys are comfortable with Deluke's playstyle, you know that Deluke is an auto, and then E once, auto, E, e twice, auto, E three times. You guys know that, right? With the Luke. Rare footage of Mr. Slice using the Luke. You guys know with the Luke, right? His normal combo is... Oh my God, this is... You guys know that's his normal combo, right? You auto, and then his E has three sequences of stuff, right? So, uh, our attack Ito is literally the exact same thing, except you replace all the E ticks with a charge attack or an E. One or the other. Talents. Uh, Hurls Ushi, which is the Geo Dago. He gains one stack. Does this do anything else besides do that? When it takes damage, he gains one stack every two seconds. Okay, that's pretty good. It's just a stack gainer. Okay, it's a cow. Sorry, it's a Geo Cow. Geo Bull. Right, right, right. So, his elemental skill is just a SS stacker. Agreed? Agreed. When you hold it, you adjust the throwing angle. 
And then once you burst, you enter your Geo phase. Converts Ito's normal charge and plunging attacks to Geo damage. This cannot be overridden. Where have we heard this chat? Oh, that's right. Any Xiao gamers? Converts attack damage into an emo damage, which cannot be overridden by any other elemental infusion. Also similar to Noel. So converts attack damage to geo damage that cannot be overridden by any other elemental infusion. Same stuff. Just to remind you guys that if you guys are running emblem on Ito, you're trolling. His burst does no damage. Just just reminding you, this is it. His burst is a conversion. All right, his burst does not count as elemental burst damage. Increases Ito's normal attack speed. So he's just literally a hack and slash character. Also increases his attack based on his defense. Noel. On hit, the first and third strikes of his attack combo will each grant our attack Ito one stack of the SS. Is this combined with his normal one? So his first, second, and third hit all grant a stack of his SS. The fourth one grants two stacks of his SS. So you should be able to weave in a bunch of beautiful charge attacks. And then he decreases his own elemental and physical resistance by 20%. Why? This doesn't even matter. I don't even know why they put this in. You don't weave Mr. Baby, you gain stacks, then spend stacks. Oh, this only works for his elemental skill. What if one of his constellations allows him to not interrupt his stuff? I would never know, but... I'm just wondering, would they probably do that? Because they want to, if they wanted to optimize his play style, they would allow you to do that. So, I don't know about you guys, but currently, hold off on the Deluxe stuff, by the way. All right. We won't be able to weave in attacks with Deluxe, uh, like Deluxe Canton currently. You'll have to get all four stacks to gain the maximum number of stacks and then start doing the charge attack spam. Agreed? Agreed. But you, you can use your elemental skill during the middle of it to save time. That'll probably be good for canceling out the largest end lag of his auto combination. So like whichever auto, whichever auto takes the longest to continue, we'll probably cancel that with his elemental skill by throwing Ushi out in the middle. And then, you know, I'm confused. Would you want to get stacks first or just immediately burst with him? Is he an immediate burst character? He is, right? Can we see how many orbs his E generates? Let's see. It, it, it produces two on summon, zero on death. That's not a lot of orbs, by the way. They're probably doing this for a specific reason to make you go with like three Geo. There are zero orbs generated from his burst hitting enemies as well. So he doesn't have any actual burst sustain, which makes you really want to... You think it's three? It only looks like two, right? Unless I'm blind, chat. Is that two or three? That's two. I only saw one, two. Three if get hit. Wait, really? Oh, it is three. One's behind him. I see it. I see it. I see it. It's three. It's three. It's three. It's three. There's one like behind Ito. Okay, yeah, okay, okay. That, that one was hard for me to tell. Okay, yeah. So there's three orbs there, which is actually, it's 50% more than two, so. Wait, oh, wait, 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 chat. So you actually, okay, okay, okay. I understand now. So when you're in burst form, you can just consistently first auto and then SS and then first auto again, right? Because like on hit, the first stack, of the first strike grants him a stack. So when you're in burst form, you can just consistently do it over and over and over and over again. Like, you don't need to stack stacks for him for this. But four hits generates five stacks, which is max. But why do you need five stacks? Wait, can you even do the final stack for this last slash in burst form? You can't. Oh, unless you hold your charge attack. Oh. Okay, 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 okay. If you just hold his charge attack, then you just go swinging. Okay, okay. Agreed, agreed. Makes sense, makes sense, makes sense. Wait, so you, do you actually even care about him when he doesn't have his burst up? No, right? We actually don't. Oh yeah, good thing to note. He has very he has very low knockback on his burst autos. If this is intentional, it kind of like in, unintentionally buffs him. Oh, I'm just basing it off the Haley Channel, which is as one of the default weights, right, in the game. You guys can see that the uh, in his burst form, he's not smacking the Haley Channel, and you have to constantly sprint after it, which is really good for uninterrupted attack combos. What about normally though? Let's see. Okay, so normally his last one does. I find this, there would be zero reason to play him when he doesn't have his burst up. Because he only does geo damage in his burst form. And he converts all his defense into attack. So like, all you want to do is make sure that he has enough stacks. Like, you want to enter his burst form with five stacks and then recharge it in, in the middle of his burst. That's about it. I hope there's an easy indication of how many stacks he has. Is there an easy indication? Oh, there is. So it's easy to tell when he has full stacks up. So that's three. So that's his four hit combo. And then this is when he has five. He's using all of them. Okay, 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 okay. Makes sense, makes sense. Okay, okay, makes sense. I mean, that's it, chat. That's all we need to really know about him, right? Yeah, we'll see how he is after this. Burst Reliant, Deluke plus Xiao potential character, Noel with the defense conversion. He's just a power crept Noel. 
he suffers the same energy issues that noel has from what i'm seeing as the defense conversion as all that conversion and uh buffs a little bit by increasing the attack speed right look at the burst version of his you can see the indicator of max that's when the oni face gets huge let's see it one two three f oh oh you're right okay all right you do frogs i think that's it i think we covered most of the first impression stuff we'll see how he actually plays when he comes out if certain constellations uh make anything different we also don't have any no any knowledge on his passive talents his passive talents may be really important with his play style if it allows him to weave in his charge attacks at some point that'd be the best thing for him otherwise and he'll be a stack based character focused on his first auto sequence to get max stacks and then you hold your charge attack and you go boom Otherwise, thanks for watching YouTube. You do see my frogs have a new YouTube emote. And uh, see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.